Hello everybody, Mike Hogan and Megan Hall checking in from the John J. Ash Community Center where Ward 3 OAN voters are voting tonight. And Meg, we just went inside um, and talked to a worker uh, who's been here all day long. Um, fill us in on what she, uh, what she had to tell you. So we talked to Lucinda Connolly, who is an inspector for the Board of Elections, and she told us that about 1,158 people are registered to vote inside this ward, and today they've seen approximately 320 voters. So that's just about a quarter of the way of the voters that are eligible to vote in this district. But she said that is not counting absentee ballots or early voting. She said they had a pretty steady uh, trickle of voters today, not a lot of line, but some outside waiting, and that she saw a higher turnout, especially of first time voters than she's used to seeing in this district. And that seems like a theme. Um, we've been following that trend all day long. Um, I went out to Portville in Cuba. Um, I didn't get much in, in Cuba, but in Portville, I talked to a worker there who said that she was really inspired by the amount of young people who turned out. Jeff Uvino was in Hinsdale and said that workers there had the same things to say. Same thing here in Ward 3, where um, very uh, they seem very impressed with the, with the turnout of young people. And that's what they were kind of talking about before before the election. We need the young people to show up and vote no matter what side of the politi political spectrum they fall on. Mike and I came out to this polling place to see if the if it would be really crowded considering people just got out of work about an hour and an hour or an hour and a half ago, but it doesn't seem to be too crowded. There are five voter stations inside the community center with one uh, scanning st station and we only saw two of the voter stations in use at any given time while we were inside. Another thing I picked up on while I was in there and it was kind of a cool moment. Um, there was a there was an individual who wasn't registered to vote um, in this in this election. I don't know what exactly went on. Don't have the facts. Um, we didn't get to talk to that person or, or the worker who was helping him. But that that worker was helping him register for the next wave of elections coming up in in future years. What did you think of that? I thought that was a really cool moment, um, and I think it's very interesting that even though people might not have been registered this time around, this election has inspired them to want to be registered for the next time around. That's all we have from you here from Ward 3, Mike Hogan, Megan Hall. Uh, stay tuned for more coverage tonight starting at 10 p.m. of course, the live SBU TV coverage on their YouTube and Facebook pages.